वेलकम बैक एवरीवन टू वन मोर सेशन इन कंप्लीट टीएसए प्लेसमेंट सीरीज विद सी प्लस प्लस लास्ट लेक्चर वाज अबाउट क्वेश्चंस ऑन बिट वाइज ऑपरेटर्स एंड दिस लेक्चर टू विल बी ऑन सम इंपॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट्स ऑफ बिट वाइज ऑपरेटर्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट एन इंपॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट दैट इज बिट मास्किंग एज वेल एज वी लुक एट द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ होमवर्क क्वेश्चन सो इफ यू हैवंट डन इट देन दिस इज द राइट टाइम पॉज द वीडियो एंड डू the homework question right now itself so what are we waiting for let's begin with the lecture right away so this was the question given in the homework last time it says to count number of one bits for your information number of one bits is equivalent to number of set bits so interviewer may ask you the question something like count number of set bits in a number actually one is known as a set bit and thus a uh, number of one bits is equivalent to number of set bits let us move on now towards the solution so over here we need to find out number of set bits number of set bits in an integer how are we going to do it there are two approaches to do it first one is the easy approach approach number 1 and next one is a bit trickier approach so in first approach what are we going to do we can just uh, we can just take n then we can initialize variable a uh, variable count and then we can extract each and every bit okay so extract in each and every bit can be done by two approaches by modulus 2 as well as divided by 2 and we have another approach okay by m person n m person 1 as well as n n left shift 1 okay so extracting the bit and then if bit is equal to 1 then increasing the value of count very simple approach that we have already discussed in the previous sessions if you haven't seen the previous session then pause this video and do check out the approach from this approach from that previous session so it is a very simple approach and many of you must have found out now let us move to approach number 2 a bit trickier approach but a very good observation of the one who has found out this approach it is used in many concepts of programming okay so let me just pause my video and type the binary representation of uh, first 10 numbers Okay yes i have finally written all the binary representations of numbers from 1 to 10 now we have an observation over here you can just check for the rightmost set bit now what do i mean by rightmost set bit if we start from here okay if we start from right then the first bit which is 1 is known as the rightmost set bit so over here the rightmost set bit for 10 is this one okay for 9 it is this for 8 it is this for 7 it is this okay and so on now just check the trend after rightmost set bit including the rightmost set bit when we decrease the value of a number so over here we have decreased the value 10 has become 9 so when we decrease the value of a number what happens is the all the bits to the right of rightmost set bit or all the bits after rightmost set bit including that bit flip okay so you see they flip their values one has flipped to zero and zero has flipped to one over here also um the right most set set bit over here for nine is let me just rub off other dots and other things over here so right most set bit for nine is one and you see it has flipped itself now the right most set bit for eight is this one right it is this one so all you see all the bits including this rightmost set bit have 
flipped their values okay so when we do when we do n minus 1 then all the bits after the rightmost set bits and including rightmost set bits flip their value now an important consideration over here are we interested in the bits which are to the right of rightmost set bit okay all the bits which are to the right of rightmost set bits will be zero exactly so we aren't concerned with these we are only concerned with the bits which are to the left of rightmost set bits right so yes this is an important consideration for our approach okay so now how to get the rightmost set bit if we get the rightmost set bit then you see all the things are cleared right so suppose uh, suppose if there's a way we we have 10 as 1 0 1 0 and so on okay if there's a way of finding this rightmost set bit okay finding the rightmost set bit let us say we have find uh, founded out the rightmost se set bit and increase the value of count to 1 okay then let us say if there's a way of deleting this rightmost set bit and setting it to 0 okay let us set this rightmost set bit to 0 and now you see the rightmost set bit will be 1 right so over here again we'll increase the value of count to 1 okay and then we will we will just flip the value of this rightmost set bit so now we are flipping the right value of rightmost set bit and all the things are zero over here and as all the things are zero over here will stop and will finally get our count okay will get our count to two you see all oh, it has been completed in two iterations okay normally if uh, we would have done it through approach one then it would take four iterations but now it has been done in two iterations and this is a very beautiful observation right but how are we going to get this rightmost set bit how are we going to get it and how are we going to uh, move further very simple okay suppose le le let me just uh, give binary representation of 10 10 is 1010 10 and 9 is 1001 so 10 is 1010 and what is 9 it is 1001 okay now what if i do and operation over both of these when I do AND operation, what happens? Uh, 0 and 1 will become 0. 1 and 0 will become 0. 0 and 0 will become 0. And 1 and 1 will become 1. Right. You see, rightmost set bit has vanished now. Exactly. It has been vanished. And we have this one. Okay. We wanted the second rightmost set bit as the first, as the rightmost set bit and we have uh, accomplished our goal exactly so similarly this is actually this is 8 okay this represents 8 1 triple 0 and we will have 0 triple 1 over here okay so 0 triple 1 over here and we'll do and operation with this so this is this is binary representation of seven actually and we'll get all zeros right we have we have got all zeros and if you see we this iteration has been done for two times okay so loop was called two times and thus we have two set bits in binary representation of 10 very simple solution but very tricky and beautiful observation, right?
it's it's very beautiful observation and this observation is used in many programming concepts so it is it is a very important concept okay if you haven't uh, understood it then just pause the video move back and replay the video okay think for some time because it is a very very important i have given five stars so it is really important concept so yes it is a really important concept and i hope you have understood it now let us uh, discuss that how are we going to code it so it's very simple to code okay first we will initialize value of i to 0 and we'll initialize value of count to 0 now we will run this in a loop till i is not equal to 0 so what should we run in the in the loop we will run i equal to i am percent i minus 1 and then we will just increase the value of count so number of times the loop will run will be uh, equal to the number of ones in binary representation of that number and this way we will get our count okay this this whole thing will run in a loop and this way we'll get value of count so let us quickly move to gfg platform and code our solution okay so here we are and over here first of all we'll initialize value of count to zero now we'll run a for loop where we'll initialize i to n then we'll check for the condition i not equal to 0 and then we'll update the value of i i equal to i am percent i minus 1 why we are doing bitwise and we are doing it to flip the rightmost set bit exactly and after flipping the rightmost set bit if there is at least one set bit in the in the number then the number the uh, iteration would move inside the pointer would move inside and if the for loop breaks that means there are no set bits no more set bits now and we need to return our count yes a very efficient simple and efficient solution you see it's a five liner code but very tricky and very important concept okay so we have compiled our code let us see if it works yes it has worked let us submit our code and check if it's correct for all the test cases superb all the test cases have passed and we have done our homework question yippee with very important concept so mark this important concept note it down in your notes and revise it again and again because it is really very important let us now move to our main topic that is bit masking now what is bit masking okay uh, if we split the word then we can just say we can guess that it will be related to applying mask of bits to whom to numbers okay to numbers exactly it is that simple bit masking is ju just applying mask of bits over something okay if you have used photoshop then you must be knowing about applying a mask okay if there's a color photo and if we apply a black and white mask to the color photo then all the colors get blocked and what we get is a black and white photo actually it also uses bit masking internally so yes bit masking is very important concept and very beautiful concept so what is bit masking can we uh, have an example actually we have seen the example remember the last video where we had to convert decimal number into binary number what we did to extract the last bit what we did in case of bitwise operator what was the approach number two 
in approach number two we had a last bit okay and we had applied bitwise and operator with that last bit and one we had applied bitwise and operator over here so what happened what happened actually was that all the bits over here to the left of this one all the bits okay except the last one were blocked and what we got was a line a series of zeros before this bit now the bit over here decided what would be the answer if the bit over here was zero then answer was zero and if the bit over here was one then answer was one right so yes exactly we know that zero ampersand one is zero and one ampersand one is one right and thus we had got our last bit now bit masking is very much similar okay you you see we we have applied a mask of one okay so this is nothing but applying mask of one to the number mask of one for what for getting the last bit to get the last bit what if we want to get the bit somewhere in middle so suppose we have one one zero one and what if we want to get bit at this position what we will do we will apply this mask okay over right over here zero one zero zero and thus we will get a value over here so zero and one will be zero zero and zero will be zero and one and zero will also be zero you see over here all the bits to the left and to the right bit uh, of uh, focus have been blocked okay all the bits have been blocked and what gets filtered out is only the value of this bit so over here we get zero one zero zero and now if the decimal representation of this by uh, this number is non zero if it's non zero then the bit is set or then the value of bit is one if it is zero then the value of that bit or, uh, or the value over that position value of bit over that position is zero very simple okay very easy and very simple and this is known as a mask so this over here that is zero one zero zero is known as mask and bit masking is all about applying different types of masks to get up uh, different types of bits or to set different bits or to toggle bits okay so let us look into bit masking in more detail first of all we can use bit masking to get the bits okay just like the example we discussed above suppose we have one one zero one and we want to get the bit at second position okay the position are counted from zero so it's the this is zeroth position this is first position this is second position and we are interested in this bit so we need to apply and operator bitwise and operator with this representation right zero one zero zero how are we going to get this mask we can like we can just think of getting this mask like somehow what if somehow we shift one to two positions on the left can we do it yes of course we can do it we can do it by left shift operator okay one left shift two so this will give you your mask okay this is actually our 
mask and thus we have a number n and we have a mask which is equal to 1 left shift 2 or 1 left shift the position where we want our bit okay from at which position we want to get our bit so it is that position over here we have written that position and it's simple one will get uh, shifted towards that position to the left and then we will use ampersand operator okay so we will use n ampersand mask n ampersand mask if the value over there is non-zero if it's non-zero then the bit over that position was one if it is zero then the bit over that position was zero it is that simple right so let us go to our visual studio code and practice it or actually let us uh, first of all see all the things and then at last move to the visual studio code for more hands-on practice so in the second question second type of action we have setting a bit so how can we set a bit suppose there is a binary representation one zero 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 one one okay and we want to set this bit what do you mean by setting a bit we can we update the value of bit to one if it's one then we leave it as it is but if it's zero then we update the value of 0 to 1 and this is known as setting a bit okay so over here we need to set the bit now how can we do first of all let us have the mask uh, that we had discussed in the previous example so this is our mask over here what can we do just pause the video and think exactly many of you must have found the solution we can just take or operator over here bitwise or operator so what it will give one zero one zero one and one so all the values on to the right hand side and to the left hand side of this mask will be same but for this bit only if this bit is 0 it will get updated to 1 if it was 1 then it will remain as it is so this is a simple concept of setting a bit now how to get a mask over here for setting a bit exactly how we got in getting a bit so one left shift position and then we need to do n equal to n or mask to set the bit of uh, uh, set the bit at ith position okay now let us move to the third example or sorry not third example actually third type of bit masking so third type of bit masking is about clearing a bit what do you mean by clearing a bit setting a bit setting a bit that was one to zero so we suppose we have one zero one zero zero one okay and we want to set this bits value okay we want to downgrade this bits value to zero how can we do it suppose let us suppose that if we had a mask something like this one zero one zero zero one and this is the number and we had mask something like this one one zero one 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 okay so the position of our interest okay bit at position of our interest will be zero and bits at other positions will be one if we had this condition and suppose if we had executed ampersand bitwise and operation over these 
to binary representations then what we would get we would get 1 0 and over the right of it we would get 0 0 1 but over here the bit would get cleared so at position of our interest the bit would get updated to 0 and this way we can just clear a bit but how to create this mask how to create this mask see if we just uh, uh, we can create this mask step by step first of all it is 0 uh, uh, there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 bits over here so 0 0 0 0 0 and 1 now left shifting our 1 2 1 1 2 and 3 3 positions 0 1 and then over here left shifting it to 3 positions we get this now when we apply not operator what will happen is all the zeros will be converted to 1 and all the 1s will get converted to 0 ok so over here we have only 1 1 so this will get converted to 0 and will get our mask so how to get our mask over here mask can be written as not of 1 left shift position so this is our mask in case of clearing a bit now let us see how to update a bit so over here let us see how to update a bit so what is updating a bit uh, clearing a bit first okay clearing a bit first and setting its value to 1 okay so we can just have two steps over here it's clearing a bit and then we will set its value okay very simple how to clear a bit we can clear a bit, bit by one left shift position and applying bitwise not operator over that mask and how to set a bit by one left shift position okay so that way we can get the mask and then we can set our bit by our operator so this was about setting a bit now how to toggle a bit okay so if it's if it's one then we need to uh, have zero over here and if it's zero then we need to have one so we know that one xor zero is equal to one and zero xor no sorry one xor one one xor one is equal to zero Okay, so we can use XOR operator along with 1 to toggle a bit. So suppose we have this representation 1, 0, 0, 1, 1 and we want to toggle this bit. Over here we'll have this type of binary representation. Okay, this type of binary representation and this will give us an um, XORing both of this representation bitwise will give us the final answer so 1 and 0 will be 1 1 and 0 will be 1 over here 0 xor 1 0 xor 1 will give us 1 0 xor 0 will give us 0 1 xor 0 1 and 1 xor 0 1 so you see this bit has been toggled had it be 1 this bit the value over here would be 0 so this way we can create a mask the mask is similar but the operator over here is different so mask over here is equal to one left shift position yes so this way we can toggle a bit that's it now let us move to visual studio code and have hands-on practice so here we are into our visual studio code let us first of all take an integer n and its input okay now let us first of all uh, have code of setting a bit how to set sorry get a bit actually first of all let's see for 
getting a bit. Let us first define a position. Let us say uh, position equals to 2. Okay. So 0, 1 and 2. Second, we need to get uh, the set bit at second position or bit actually bit at second position. Then we'll check it's if it's set or not. So first of all, we need to create a mask. How can we create a mask? By left shift operator. So we'll create a mask by left shift operator. Then we will apply that mask to N. So if N ampersand mask, we have applied the mask and if the result of this mask is not equal to 0, then we need to print, we need to print the 1 and if the value of mask is equal to 0, then we need to print 0. So yes, this is our code. Let us save it, check for any errors. I think we don't have any errors. Let us run our code. So over here we need, it is asking for input. Let us give 9. Okay, 9 has given us 0 because at second position we don't have any set bit. Second position is equivalent to 2's square. Okay, so if we have 4, then we, we will get 1. Okay, so for in case of 6, we get 1. Okay, in case of 5, we get 1. In case of 4, we'll get 1. So this way, we can get the bit at ith position by bit masking. You see how we have applied the mask. It's very beautiful, right? Now let us move on to another task that we can do using bit masking. Another possibility of bit masking to set a bit. Okay. So over here we'll have a position that is int position 2 and we will set the bit at position 2 to 1. So how to create a mask? Mask is also same as position. Okay. Uh, left shifting 1 to position to position number of steps actually and then we will apply our OR operator bitwise OR operator over here. So let me apply my bitwise OR operator to N and mask bitwise OR actually to N and mask and then print out the same thing very easy solution right let us now run our code and check if this works so at position 2 you see 9 wasn't having anything at position 2 now if I give 9 I get 13 okay so uh, 13 is the solution because we have 4 okay 2 is the square is 4 so 9 plus 4 you see 9 plus 4 is 13 and so the bit over here has been applied. If you are confused about this thing, then convert this 9 into binary, convert this 13 into binary and check it by yourself. Okay, so uh, let us say that if 9, okay, if, oops, sorry, if 9 is equal to 1001, then at second position now we will have we will have 1101 1101 which is 2 cube that is 8 plus 2 square that is 4 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 1 that is equal to 13 so yes we have done an operation for setting a bit let me just erase off this comments over here now let us do the operation of clearing a bit. So let us do operation of bit. First of all, we'll get a position. So in position equal to 2. Then we'll create a mask out of it. So mask is equal to 1 left shift position. We need to shift 1 to the left for position number of steps. 
and then we need to clear the bit at that position so how are we going to do it just print n ampersand mask just apply bitwise and operator with mask and you are done with your solution so let us check our code okay first of all let us see uh, for 1100 1, 1, 0, 0. so over here the bit at second position okay 0 1 and 2 at second position the bits value is 1 and now it should become 1 triple 0 okay this is equal to 8 plus 4 which is 12 and this is equal to 8 so 12's value should become 8 over here let us check if this works whoops we have got a 4 over here and the solution is wrong why is it wrong just pause the video and write down in the comment section below what we have missed exactly we have missed a little tilde operator over here so having this little tilde will flip all the positions all the zeros will become one and one will become zero and now we need to apply bitwise and operator so afterwards we have applied bitwise and operator and then we'll run the code okay at last we'll run the code and you see we have got our solution as expected so this was about clearing a bit now let us talk about toggling a bit so how to toggle a bit here we'll take two examples okay let us take example of 12 and at position 2 we need to toggle that bit so let me just comment it out okay 12 is 1100 0, 0 and we need to toggle the bit at second position so it will be 1 triple 0 that is equal to 8 and we'll take one more example let us take 1011 okay what is 1011 1011 is uh, 1 plus 2 that is 3 3 plus 8 plus 3 that is 11 and we need to toggle this bit the bit at second position so when we toggle the bit at second position we get 1111 what is 1111 it is 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 4 7 7 plus 8 that is 15 1111 is 15 so yes we have a uh, 15 over here let us now write our position position equal to 2 then we need to create a mask so what will our mask consist of bit uh, the left shift operator okay bitwise left shift operator one left shift position then we will just write over here n xor mask n xor mask let us save it and let us run our code okay so i am running the code oops we have a uh, okay over here let me just have a parenthesis okay save the code and then run it again and yes we haven't commented out the input okay code for taking the input so let us run the code and check if this works okay i have by mistake i have typed an s besides now okay so it has compiled well now let us uh, give 12 and we get back 8 now let us give 11 and you see we get back 15 so this way we can toggle our bit using a mask so yes in bit masking we have learned how to get a bit 
how to set a bit, how to clear a bit, how to toggle a bit. Now how to update a bit? Update bit is very simple. First clear a bit and then you set that bit. And this is homework for you. Just uh, come up with the code of updating a bit. So this was all about bit masking and as we have learnt bit masking, let us see one very simple question on bit masking that is of bit difference. Okay. So we are given two numbers A and B and our task is to count the number of bits that need to be flipped to convert A to B. Okay. So suppose uh, we have 10, binary representation of 10 is 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 and of 20 is 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. Okay. So over here we need to flip this, okay, this bit to 0 and over here then we need to flip this 0 to 1 and we need to flip this 1 to 0 as well as this first uh, 0 to 1. So actually we need to flip 4 bits, okay, 4 bits are needed to get flipped, okay, to change A from 10 to 20. So yes, we need to find number of flips. How are we going to find it? First of all, we need to find the difference. Okay, which bits are different? How can we find which bits are different? Yes, we can find different bits by XOR operator, right? So 0 and 1, 0 XOR 1 will give 1, 1 XOR 0 will give 1. But if they are similar, then we will get 0. So from that we can get once and then we can count number of set bits through this logic. Right? We can count the number of set bits to this logic and then at last return the count. Very easy question, right? So let us do it. Int C will be equal to A X or B. A X or B. Now we will have count, first of all we will initialize, initialize count to 0 and let us initialize a variable i, okay. Or let us not initialize the variable, let us run the while loop itself. So while c is not equal to 0, this time I am doing by while loop, you do by for loop. So while c is not equal to 0, what we need to do? We need to increase first the value of count, count plus plus and C would be equal to C ampersand C minus 1. And at last return the value of count. So yes, we have, we are done with our solution and let us compile and run our code. Okay, so we have got our output as expected. Let us submit our code and check. So it's queued and you see all the test cases have passed. 10,110. Actually, they are 1 lakh te test cases and they have passed. Bravo. So yes, this was about taking a bit difference and this is also related to bit masking, right? We have done XOR operator. We have applied XOR operators over, over two numbers and then we have taken out, okay, we have smartly counted how many number of set bits are there in that result. So that's it for bit masking. Let us now have homework question. Okay, so the homework question is to reverse the bits. Okay, we are given with an integer. Okay, we have unsigned integer and we need to reverse the bits of the integer. Link of the question will be given in the description below. So, better do it. Yes, let's meet in the next session with some more questions on bitwise operators. Till then, keep learning and keep growing. Thank you everyone.